Hi class, today we're going to look at some bridge problems and to start off with I've got a problem shown here we have support A, support B and a mass um, that is 0 0.3 meters from the edge of support A 0 0.5 meters from the edge of support B and the mass is 200 grams which is 0 0.200 kilograms to solve bridge problems we use a couple of principles the first principle is that the sum of the torques is zero and the other is that the sum of the forces is equal to zero so that's all of the forces on the system now these two principles um, require direction to be carefully considered and so that means that you've got to look at having positive and negative values so the direction of the force or the torque um, in terms of positive or negative is very important okay so let's see how we can apply uh, those two principles to the problem in front of us the first step is normally to identify one of the bridge supports as your pivot so you'll treat that as a pivot and you'll consider every force acting apart from that pivot um, as being a torque around that pivot so that would mean that if we looked at a side on view there there's a and there's b if we identified point a as our pivot then the mass will provide a clockwise torque and the mass of the meter stick if we're considering that will provide a clockwise torque as well and so we would have two clockwise torques in that situation and they would be countered by an upwards acting force the support force from b which would provide an anti-clockwise torque and so for the system to be in equilibrium i.e the bridge not to be accelerating up or down or rotating we know that the sum of the torques is equal to zero and we know that the sum of the forces are equal to zero so let's begin by identifying the torques that we know we should be able to to work out this torque and this torque and that will leave this torque um, that will give us the value for this torque which will then allow us to work out the value of the upwards um, upwards force from support B so using A as our pivot we can say that the force times distance and that's the force due to the weight of the mass times the distance which is A to M DAM plus the force from the weight of the bridge itself times the distance to the center of the bridge and so that will be half of the total distance which I've identified as AB okay. so that will give us the sum of our clockwise torques and what we're suggesting is that the uh, clockwise the anti-clockwise torque sorry anti-clockwise torque from the force the support force provided at B acting a distance away from A is going to be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the clockwise torques and so the magnitude of those will be equal all right let's start pop, uh, putting in some numbers so the force of the mass is 0 0.2 I'm just going to ignore those extra two zeros at the moment times negative 9.8 meters per second squared 
times a distance a m of 0 0.3 I'll just keep it keep the numbers as short as possible here plus um, the force of the bridge and I didn't tell you this so the mass of the bridge is 0 0.1 kilograms and so that's 0 0.1 times negative 9.8 times and that's going to be half times DAB. DAB is 0.8, so that's going to be 0 0.4. And we're saying that that is equal to <clears throat> the anti-clockwise torque, which is provided by an unknown force at B an unknown force of B times the distance from B to A. Which is FB times 0 0.80. Okay. Now we could rewrite FB because what we're actually interested in is the mass reading the display here at B. And so we could rewrite FB as being the mass reading here times negative 9.8 because the the downwards acting force which produce, produces our reading um, is effectively the weight acting through support B and that would be times the distance from A to B so let's write that out a little bit more coherently and we have uh, 0 0.2 times negative 9.8 times 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 times negative 9.8 times 0 0.4 and then that is equal to mass reading times negative 9.8 times 0 0.80 And we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 9.8 times 0.8 to give us the mass reading. And so if we do that, that will cancel on the right hand side. leaving us with this equation for the mass reading. Now you'll notice that we've got negative 9.8 <clears throat> along the top here and on the bottom. And so if we were to rewrite that top line, we could say that uh, 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.4. And then if we put that in brackets, and multiply everything at, uh, inside the brackets by negative 9.8 then we have the same as we have written previously and that makes it quite easy because then we can see that there's negative 9.8 on both the top and the bottom of the equation the numerator and the denominator and so we can cancel those out and that gives us 0.2 times 0.3 plus 0.1 times 0.4 over 8. And if that's correct, then that should give us our mass reading for uh, display B. And so that should come out at 0 0.125. Now that's in kilograms because the values we used were in kilograms. But if the display were to read grams, then we would simply multiply that by 1,000 to give us 125 grams and that would be our reading of B. Now if we know that the mass involved in the system was 200 grams plus 100 grams for the bridge itself and we're saying that the reading on one of the balances is 125 grams then we can simply subtract that 125 so that's 300 minus 125 gives us 175.
grams. And so what we're saying there is that the reading on A, including the mass of the, the bridge itself, would be 175 grams. And that's us solved our first bridge problem. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know.